hi guys welcome back to the channel make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel make sure your post notification bell is on so you don't miss the video in time is the upload over here at closet says we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video today we're gonna do like a throwback okay and the reason why i say a throwback is because these are id ID um bad ribs literally can't talk y'all anyway these are our id bad ribs okay now y'all already know you need a bad ribs you can get these from the Dollar Tree anywhere. But like I say, when I go to the Dollar Tree, I have no problem. I've been using them since day one, since I started my business. And I realized they sold them. Hey, never let me down yet. But I do want to express to you guys right quick. This video is not going to be long. Whenever you do your ID badge reels, I always do your stress test. This is Miss D's stress test. Make sure you do that snap back. That's our snap back stress test over here. That's what I do. And I need you guys to do the same. So if it don't snap back like this, that bad drill is going to be bad. So if it snap back a little bit and then it'll get stuck like right here, do not do it because why? You'll end up with a bad, with a bad ID bad drill, okay? Yes, you will. And you're going to have to redo the whole badge. Why? Because I did it. That's a... That's a reminder. Always do your um your stress snapback. Okay. Do stress snapback. Okay, you're gonna definitely need a you're gonna need badge reels, okay? You're gonna need the one inch circle hole punch. You're gonna need your bling. You know, I get this from the Dollar Tree. I have tons of it. If you guys been following me, you know that. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. Now a pair of scissors to say this. We'll do that last. A pair of scissors to say this. You guys see this here? Images. I just printed these off the computer. That's all I did. You can go on Etsy. Look up. Um, download digital images. All kind of images will come up. That's where I get a lot of my images from. Or either you can go to Google. Copy and paste. Whichever one you like to do. You know, a wood what's work best for you so however you've been doing it it works for you keep doing it okay but i'm just telling the ones that this is our little throwback over here miss d just doing a reminder for you guys and i had a um a order to send off so that'll be on the next video okay but since i had order to send off i want to show you guys this is how this right here what nothing but a piece of card stock remember if you do this on card stock guys okay card stock you don't need that extra little circle at the back okay let me show you guys what i'm talking about this my this is our what this is our correct um blue perfect circle okay perfect circle now if i did this was if this was regular copy paper guys if this was regular copy paper with an image on the back of it you would need to put a extra piece of paper at the back which would be on the back of your badge reel first okay put a extra piece on there first let me see Put an extra piece on your badge reel first. Just say you have your digital image right here in this paper. Get your other piece. I just had it somewhere. Get your other piece with your image on it and put it on top. Once you done glued it and let it dry it, okay? But if you can't get what you're looking for out of this video, like I said, this wasn't going to be long. Go to my other videos and this I showed you how to do that. If it's on car stop, you don't have to do it. You just need to just use the image itself, okay? And so, this is how I get this right here. This is cardstock. I did not put a extra piece of paper back here. Why? Because it's cardstock. If this was just regular copy paper, I would have had to do so, okay? Like I said, I get this from Google, copy and paste. You need a set of bad drills. So, this is how I get the image, all right? Now, our perfect circle is this here. 
These are the epoxy domes. I'm going to tell you guys. If you touch the back of this, where it's clear, you with your finger or whatever you do, it's going to leave that print. And when you try to put it on your image, like this, right here, it's going to have that print on the back of it. Okay? So whatever you do, try to remove it carefully, like so. You see how clear it is? Okay. Take your image. You can do this before you do anything, but I had already went on ahead and did this, so the video wouldn't take long. So I'm gonna take it and look at it and see where I want it at. But make sure whenever you drop it, let me see. I'm gonna drop mine. Okay, I got it where I want it. So guess what? Now I'm going around in the circle. Like I said, you can do this beforehand. You see right here, look like it's not all the way on there. Cause you can see just a tad. What you need to do is keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. But whatever you do, make sure this is dry. If y'all watch my videos, y'all will see. I showed y'all what it'll look like if it's not dry. What happens, okay? So this is what I'm doing. Getting this air out. And I can keep pressing. Why? Because it is dry enough for me to do that. Y'all just keep pressing around. Now, like I say, you can preset. I did a preset on these as well. Like I say, look up um, Closet Sass ID Badge Reels. It'll come up. Everything that I did on Badge Reels and anything else will come up. What I did was, ended up with this. Decorated it. You don't have to use this. Go to my go-to. If you've been following me, guys, y'all already know. My go-to is a nail polish. I showed y'all how to do that as well with the nail polish, okay? So, and now we have a perfect what? We have a perfect ID badge reel. So, mainly this was just like a review, a little over, a little throwback. I already done, you know, like a little preview of how to make the ID badge reels, like a project share, because I had already did it, but I was just showing you the steps of how to do it. You need your images, a badge reel your epoxy domes they'll come like this you can get them from amazon wherever okay and i think i get these from um a vendor off etsy like i say no link will be in the description for this video so i'm telling you guys right now i'm just telling you guys where i get everything from but like i say if you've been following me you already know but if you're a newcomer little stuff like this I normally don't put links because I have so many links in my tutorials on the other videos, okay? I'm trying not to, sorry for the inconvenience of that, but I'm not going to um, do that. But add your little charms. Y'all already know how to do the charms. I also show you guys how to make your own charms. And what I did was I did a mix and match. Y'all see, I did the yellow, kind of like the gold to match the mop and the bucket. You know, I should have put some red, but I didn't want to take away from the the mop and the bucket itself and the water so that's why i did that and i did like a big whenever i use a big bead beaded charm i don't add little charms like this like this okay like this one is clean i kind of did them similar but i'm going to send her something extra but that'll be in the next video. I'm going to show you guys how I also package and um, ship my ID badge reels. You know, I'm going to show you guys that. And that'll be in the next video. But whenever I, like I, what I was saying was, whenever I use a big beaded charm like this, like the big one right here, I do not use like a little metal charm. 
but that is it this is our badge id badge reel right here i just kind of mixed it up so it went all be like the same color so i just mixed it up a little bit that's what i did give her like a clear i used this clear to match the background of the um white that's what i did and i had already been did this one clean for housekeeping i wouldn't have never thought that a lot of them about the housekeeping but guess what everybody's job important so and that's what i did but that's it for this video y'all i didn't want this video to be long so make sure you guys like comment, and subscribe to the channel make sure your post notification bell is on so you know this video anytime it's the upload over here at closet Sass. also to like comment and share definitely share 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 and remember you'll need some epoxy domes you'll need a one inch um circle hole punch if you want that perfect punch and also too well dang you're gonna need some bling if you don't like the bling also just go and just use the nail polish that's my go-to okay just use the um my go-to which is the nail polish or you can just leave it plain all right and also too if you do not have your perfect circle to get this here circle right here you need a pair of scissors just cut round right here your circle but make sure it fits inside this all right in your bottle cap and copy paper if you're using copy paper good you do not need an extra piece to go behind it. If you just, a card stop. If you're using, let me rephrase that. If you're using card stop, no extra piece, just a pick. If you're using copy paper with that on pick on it, make sure you double it up and put another piece of paper behind it. If you use regular copy paper, why? Because that glue, when it dries, it's going to come through on your pick. Make sure you do your snapback stress test first. Before you do it, because if not, you're going to be doing a whole badge reel. And guess what? Eh, it's no good. Because why do not send it to your customer? Because eventually, if it gets stuck while you're pulling, it's going to get stuck eventually. And she's going to have to throw away the whole badge. It happened to me once again. Anyway, this is Miss D over here at Closet Sass. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure your post notification bell is on so you can video anytime I upload. Also, too, stay tuned for the next video. And I'm going to show you guys how I ship and package these, okay? We keep it wet, cute, neat, and simple over here. Cute, neat, and simple. All right. And I'm out. Stay tuned for the next video.